They are primeval animals. They have been around for more than 400 million years. They have survived many geological catastrophes and mass extinctions, including that of the dinosaurs. They are therefore referred to as living fossils. Now they need our help. The horseshoe crabs, which can be up to 85 centimeters long, are not crabs at all from a biological point of view, but are more closely related to spiders. Every year, thousands of them come ashore to spawn, but one property of their blue blood seals their fate. Their blood cells contain a protein that clots up upon contact with fever-inducing substances. In this way, these so-called pyrogens, e.g. parts of bacteria, can be detected in vaccines and other injectable drugs. For the so-called LAL test, which is used worldwide, at least 550,000 horseshoe crabs are caught on the Atlantic coast of the USA every year in order to extract a third of their blood. The horseshoe crabs are then lined up in long shelves where a thick cannula is stabbed into their hearts without anesthesia, through which the blue blood is collected into bottles. Many of the animals die in the process. Surviving animals are thrown back into the sea. However, it is unknown how many of them are so weakened after this procedure that they die later. These fascinating animals suffer and die. Even though a synthetic animal-free method the RFC test has been available for over 25 years. In this test, the protein from the blood cells is reproduced synthetically. The validity of the animal-free method is even better than the test based on the blood of the horseshoe crabs. But one liter of blood is traded at around 15,000 euros. A huge business. So far, the financial interests of the LAL test industry have prevented widespread use of the RFC test. The animal-free test is recognized in the regulations, at least in the EU and the USA. But as long as the LAL test is permitted, it will continue to be carried out on a large scale. Only if the test is removed from the regulations can these special animals be saved from capture, suffering and death. Support our online petition to ban the pyrogen test obtained from the blood of the horseshoe crabs.